new formula and sexing technology is obviously the next step up. So can you explain a little bit about it? Yes. So sexing technologies has uh, done more and more research uh, for the improvement of sexing. And that product now is called uh, Sex Ultra 4 Million. And it's an improvement based upon the research and development that we've done uh, with multiple companies and in-house research to improve the fertility. And it's a simple process of taking uh, uh, straws that were normally packaged in at 2.1 million and now uh, adding more semen to that straw to 4 million. So it's really improved the, the conception rate. It's another step up in sex semen conception from the time that we started. Wow, so it's, it is really quite a, a big move. So you need more semen to get from your end. So obviously it's a logistical um, challenge to be able to offer that. So that's quite exciting for producers. Yes, very much so. The process, it, part of it is is machines. Our machines are quicker, faster, um, just technology. Technology evolves over time, similar to our cell phones. You know, it used to be that it was just a cell phone, and now it's got applications of all measures and stuff like that. So the, the machines are quicker, faster, able to sort at a correct speed. We're able to be more... Um, more tighter with the sex semen, meaning we can get a higher concentration of female in that straw. So what used to be maybe 90% now is also bumping up in a higher percentage of females, which is exciting for dairymen who are in production agriculture. So what are we, um, with this new technology, where does the conception go to? Like what, what can people expect from it compared to sex doctor? Yep. So when XY, the, when we refer to the beginning, XY came out at the beginning there, we were maybe 70% of con conception. Uh, conventional semen so we knew we had a we knew we had a long road to go and then we brought out sext ultra 2.1 and that jumped us up to probably getting within the 90 percent of us uh, of conventional and now today we are much closer to conventional semen you know so we're well into the 90 percent some bulls die have a have shown in data that they're at or equal or slightly better and some bulls are probably into that 92 93 94 percent so the range of bulls uh, really is, t is 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 exciting because there's more bulls that are right within that right within a wink of conventional product and we refer to it as parity because it's maybe not quite there but we know that we're we're, we're ticking right at that conventional mark, mark line today so not right at there how far off well we would we would probably have different trial studies done in, in different places die so there's maybe not an easy way of saying a specific number but I would say if we're somewhere between like on a low end today, probably say 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, that's kind of where we're at. So uh, I can't give a huge definitive number. I do know that Sex Semen 4.0 or 4 million is better than Sex Ultra 2.0. And that's the exciting part because it's just another step in the evolution. So how much do that reaches, um, you know, get down to all, like how much of the 2.0? Is there to, to be used up, and, yep. and when does the new rollout start, or does it start right from now, and how long will it take to be all 4.0? Oh, great, great question, Di. The 4.0 product delivered from Sexing Technologies, any bull that was processed by Sexing Technologies, owned by Sexing Technologies, we've actually done the 4.0 for over a year. So the research and development started started almost two years ago, and. Basically, we knew that the process was there, but that also takes time for, for Sexing Technologies to work with all its partners around the world to be informative of them and say, hey, would you like to partner on us as we move towards this level? And do you wish to do some, some uh, research trials like we're doing to confirm it for your own? So each one of those entities, the AI companies who we're partnering with, we were respectful of their of their direction and their business plan to make sure that they walk into it on a comfort level as well. But from right now, if, if a customer is grabbing sex semen from sex or sex semen from sexing technologies, the 4.0's been in there and it will be labeled as such going forward here in, in 2017. So it will be reasonably seamless. Yes. Yep. So It'll be a, for it. it's, a, not a, a, it's not a jerky measure and stuff <laughs> like that. We just try to make sure it transitions smoothly and it's and it's out there for the farmer to see that and in, in utilize. Sexing technologies just seems to be taking one step after the other and seems to be flying. Must be a huge confidence boost for the for the company and everything that goes with it. Yeah, I, I think one of the exciting things is it's sex semen and it's improving, but it's also it's also piecing together the puzzles with genomic testing and understanding where a value point is for calves nowadays. Like growing up, I always used to think just make more heifer calves, just make more heifer Holstein heifers or Jersey heifers, and really dairymen around the world now are exploring the idea of, of beef on dairy 
and because there's a value added point to that male crossbred calf more so than there's ever been. Genomic testing your females to know which are your best animals to really target sex semen, the best bulls, really is exciting for dairy customers, whether small or large, whether in the show ring to make another fancy heifer calf out of your best show cattle, or a commercial dairyman that wants to make sure that he raises his genetic level each generation to provide the best animals for his herd. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Diet is always a pleasure to be in Australia. I could, I could, I could show up on a plane anytime down here. The warmth of the people, the, the, the season, it's always an exciting time. And those people that put together this show, um, they need to be commended because I'll tell you what, it's not just uh, myself, but you just look around here. There's people that are happy to be here at International Dairy Week, and it's exciting to, to meet and greet with friends and, and uh, guests around the world. So this is a great opportunity to be here, and I really enjoy it. So. Thank you for your time. Now you're going to get back and enjoy the hosting show. It's on today. Yep, I've got a good friend that might be judging today, so I'll enjoy that as well. So. You better give him, um, tell him how he went tonight then. Yep. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Thanks, Di.